Good afternoon, personal finance. Um, as promised, here's your savings tools uh, PowerPoint lecture breakdown. You should have re read the savings tool information guide, and you should have gone through your uh, choose to save stuff, which most of you have. We've got a lot of worksheets. So we're going to get going just to keep the video short. Um, we're going to talk about four different types of saving tools. You're going to hear me talk about liquidity a lot. So that's going to be the first video here. Four different tools uh, when we talk about savings tools, checking account, savings account, money market account, and then CD, certificate of deposit. You've maybe heard banking tools referred to as a CD. That means certificate of deposit. Um, what a lot of kids don't realize is a checking account is um, a savings tool as well. Okay. Our next slide is going to take us to liquidity. Um, Liquidity, liquidity basically means how fast can you turn your money into cash or how, how accessible are you to be able to get at your money? How easily can you get it to withdraw? So when you hear the term liquid, it's how easy it is for you to withdraw or get your money to cash. Um, all of these accounts will keep your money secure in different ways. Sometimes it's by how much money you can have in there or how long or other special um, stipulations but we're going to look at all these two things right here with savings checkings checking account savings money market and cd when trying to figure out what type of savings tool would best suit you there's some things you can ask yourself first thing is what's my return on it going to be that would be your interest okay how much is the bank going to pay me to use my money okay with checking savings um, money market and cds you do gain interest. It just depends on how much based off the type of the accounts and the account requirements. Liquidity is number two. How easy am I able to access my money when I want to get it? And then three is feature. What features? Each account has different types of features. Some of them might be minimum amounts, how much you can have in there, um, interest paid back, um, the length of the money that needs to be stored away. So those are some things that you need to ask yourself how you know what do i want out of this savings account savings tools type account checking account um account that provides easy me method for withdrawing and depositing money checking accounts is the number one most liquidable account you can have access unlimitedly unlimitedly to your um money in those accounts most do pay interest um, but it's real low, not a ton. You're not going to get rich or even make a living off of, okay? And like I said, it's most liquid. Features, uh, basically, why would you have a checking account? So you don't have to carry a large sum of cash. Can you imagine if you had $10,000 and, and we didn't have checking accounts and just carrying that around? Be kind of bulky, unsafe, not efficient. Um, a, it's also known as a draft account for a credit union. Um, it's not recommended to be used as a savings account. Um, it's a, it's an account there to have good access to and to spend money in and to put money into, um, different types of accounts are available. There's different types of checking accounts for business, personal use, um, nonprofit organizations. They all have their own sets of, of rules that go with them. Savings is, uh, Second most liquidable account designed to hold money, not to be spent on consumption. Now, savings accounts are going to earn interest a little bit more than checking, but the rates are often low. And those rates, rates with these things go up and down based off of what the interest rates are nationally. More liquid than other savings and tools except a checking account. Checking account is most liquid. Second liquid, savings. You know, what, what do you use a savings account for? And, and most of you do have savings accounts from what we figured out in class. Emergency funds, a rainy day fund. What if COVID hits you and you lose your job? You got this money, state. You have six months worth of salary put away, right, to live off. Um, this is also can known as a shared account at a credit union. Sometimes they require a minimum balance and a limited amount of withdrawals. And what that means is you might only be able to take money out once or twice a month. I'm going to stop there and start the second one.